Howdy, YouTube. Oh, what are we doing now? Well, they uh, extended brake lever. What Iman gave me. He traded his midnight uh, blue and Barracuda silver 2019 Brake Glide Ultra in on a CVO. And he was actually uh, kind enough to take some of his extended stuff off and give it to me. Um, I've got uh, the kit for the extended floorboards to extend your floorboards out. And he gave me the uh, extended brake lever and pad to lower that thing down super low. So uh, let's see what we got to do to get all that stuff on. take off the floorboard so we'll pop what looks like that bolt off that bolt see if that comes off Got one giving us a fit. Lock tight. Just work it back and forth. Break that lock tight loose. She's off. All right. Hey. Hey, me. For all you naysayers out there about the uh, big touring bikes not being able to lean. Take a look at that right there. You can lay these bikes over. Trust me. All right. So they say you got to unbolt the master cylinder. Um, some say you got to. That's hot. Unbolt the exhaust. My buddy said you can loosen up the lower. So... We're just going to start taking bolts out and see what happens. I'm kind of thinking before we get too far ahead, we should probably take that nut off. Because I'm going to be willing to bet. That nut's probably got to come off of there. So, all right, um, we took that bolt out. There's a pin that goes through right there. And there's a quarter pin back there as well. I don't know how we can cheat that out of there. Or if we even can. I don't want, oh, there it 
seconds. Perfect. A quarter pin right there. I'll pull that out. That'll get your uh, lever off. Alright, pair of dikes. Pull your quarter pin out. Boom. So and washer and the brake lever. Look how cheap they were. Too cheap to even put grease fitting in there. Alright YouTube, we got cleaned up a little bit. Don't want to do too good of a job. I don't want it to be spoiled. So, slide it up on. Come on baby. Line your hole up. Get your pin in. Now comes the fun part. Try to get that back up in there. And I believe this is where he said you might have to take a lower off, but I think we can cheat. Yeah. Come on in. And unbolt that master cylinder. All right, see me, master cylinders unbolted. How about that? If I can cheat, I will. And it appears as if I may have been able to cheat that. I gotta get light. All right, get it back on, get it finagled back up in there, like I said. Take your two master cylinder bolts out, put it up in there in two pieces. Make sure you're back up on your rubber. And then start your three bolts. We're going to go ahead and tighten them down.
Okay, master cylinders bolted up. Take your socket. Tighten up your nut. Okay, push brake pedal. Make sure you didn't break anything. Seems to be working. All right. Now, what you would do is you'd put your floorboard back on, but we've got extenders. So let's get those. All right. Um, upon further review, the extenders that my buddy gave me, uh, they won't work. They're their own gear. They're for 97 to 16. No big deal. It's the thought that counts. So all you got to do is put your floorboard back on. Remember, there's a pin, hole, long bolt, short bolt. We're going to get that bullet back up, and uh, we're going to go ahead and clean the heat shield up right there, just because floorboards off be easier to do. Um, and we'll get it lowered back down. We'll show you guys what it looks like with the floorboard on and operating the brake pedal and all that fun stuff. Alright, so that's what it looks like. So let's get our foot up there. Foot's all the way on the floorboard. And you just take your toe a little bit, a little bit of pressure. See how much easier that is? Your foot's in more of a natural position rather than being all the way up here. Um, my right foot doesn't have a lot of range of motion. The other thing you can do is you can come over here and work it like that. Uh, make sure brake lights still work. Yep. Yeah, we didn't mess anything up. So, there you go. And, doesn't look bad. Serves a purpose. What's the purpose? Let's get into that here in a minute. Alright, so what's the purpose, you ask? Well, the purpose of that is to lower it, give your foot a more natural, more comfortable position, so you can become the boss of your motorcycle at slow speed maneuvers. You should be the boss of your, motor of your motorcycle at high speed maneuvers as well. But that is a much more comfortable position, so it can give you and help you gain more confidence, in my opinion, when you're doing the slow speed maneuvers. And like I said, it's just overall a more comfortable position. So, um, we talk about comfort a lot. There's a lot of folks out there who talk about comfort and things that you do from seats to beads and this and that. So, you have that. And um, at the same time, the extended uh, floorboard deals... They didn't work out, but I still want to do those because what that's going to do is that's going to take your feet out and away from that exhaust. So that's going to keep you just a little bit cooler. So I may look into getting a set of those. But hey, anyway, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Remember, ride fast, live slow. We'll see you all in the next one.